Hey there, Zach Stone from electricalpereview.com and you're about to watch a short clip from our fall 2021 live class semester on why connected three phase CTs for protection. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe. And if you'd like to learn more about protection for the PE exam, come check us out at www.electricalpereview.com to learn more about our live class. Let's look at why connected three phase current transformers. And we'll look at delta three phase connected. And we'll look at a Y delta transformer that's protected with differential protection. All right. Over here on the left, who can tell me number one, what kind of three phase CT connection type is this? Don't cheat. Don't look at this. What is this over here? Star, right? Or also known as Y, right? This is Y connection. Not delta, careful Caesar, this is a Y connection. How do we know? How do I know this is Y connected? What's this right here? What's this? Is there a neutral? Where's our neutral? Neutral, look, neutral through A, right? Neutral through B. Neutral through C. There's a neutral. Here's that same connection. We're just looking at the CTs, right? In other words, here's A line, here's B line, and here's C line, right? Here's the neutral. Here's the neutral. Here's A, here's B, here's C. Um, are there any leading or lagging phase shifts in the current entering the relay? In other words, here's the A line current. Here's my plus minus voltage, right? Plus minus. What direction is the ACT current going to flow in? It's going to flow from the neutral through the CT down to the relay, right? Here is I A C T. Did any phase shift take place? Did any phase shift take place from A line current to ACT current? No. Extra points for Leon. Leon said no, because I phase equals I line for a Y connection. All right, if the CT current, I'm sorry, if the CT ratio and the line current are no, how do we calculate the current entering the three phase relay? How do we calculate IACT or how do I just calculate ICT? I'm going to multiply my line current, right? Let's assume, I don't know, let's assume 905. I'm going to multiply IL by what? I'm going to multiply IL by to calculate uh, the line current. Five over 900. Yeah, you got a bum. <laughs> Five over 900. All we've done is what? We've stepped the magnitude down, right? But there's no change to the angle. See that? <laughs> you guys like that? No change to the angle. Make sense? Really easy to comprehend with the Y. What do you guys think happens with the delta connection? Is there a phase shift with delta phase currents and delta line currents? See where I'm going with this? Not just a phase shift, does anything happen to the magnitude? Hmm, interesting, right? Hey, that's it for this short video. We hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to learn more, or if you're interested in joining our live class for the Power PE exam, please visit us at www.electricalpereview.com. We'll see you soon.